So, welcome everybody. Uh, thank you all for coming today uh, to this new session of the Cine Seminar course. Uh, today we're pleased to have with us Professor Sonia Maria Gomez, who has come from Brazil. And um, today she's going to present us a two-scale H diff conforming approximations for hybrid mixed finite, finite element models. Um, uh, Dr. Hauke will present her. Okay, hi everyone, welcome to the seminar. Uh, it's my great honor today to introduce to you today's uh, speaker who is visiting us from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Her name is Sonia Gomez. And Sonia is a mathematician. She received a PhD from the Institute of Pure and Applied Mathematics in Rio de Janeiro. And throughout her career, she has held uh, teaching and research positions at various prestigious um, institutions, such as Princeton USA, uh, Uppsala University in Sweden, also the University of Buenos Aires, and the Brazilian Institute for Space Research. And since 1992, she's affiliated with the uh, Institute of Mathematics, uh, Statistics and Scientific Computing of the State University of Campinas, where she was appointed a full professor in 2003, I think. And um, her field of study is mainly applied mathematics. She has worked on many different topics, in particular numerical analysis for partial differential equations. And um, she also had a focus on adaptive and multi-scale um, methods in the context of particular wavelet analysis and finite elements and uh, she also has a strong interest in fluid mechanics and today she will talk about two scale h diff conforming approximations for hybrid mixed finite element models the floor for us. thank you for being here hi everybody I'm very happy to be here visiting this institution. And I thank you, Professor Cordina and Hauk for this invitation, and also to Inasi for the, all the arrangements for the, uh, this seminar. Uh, as Hauk said, uh, I'm going to talk about two scale HDIF conforming approximations. HDIF uh, uh, approximation in space are known as the, the vector functions, which are L2, and also the, the, the divergence is in L2, so this is HD. They can be vectors used for flux, or they can be tensors used uh, for elasticity problems. So my talk is uh, about two, uh, two scale uh, spaces, using this kind of functions. This is a joint collaboration with Professor Philippe Delu, also from Unicamp, uh, and Omar Duran, Arnaldo Farias, Wes Pereira, Antonio Bonez, and Frederic Valentin. And we have the support from the Brazilian Council, CNPQ, FAPESP, which is the, uh, this, the council, the, the support and uh, research of the state of Sao Paulo, and also the AMP, which is the Brazilian Agency for Petroleum Research. And also I re uh, received support from the University of Paraíba, where I, I visit for one year. So as I said, HDU conforming approximations, they are very important uh, because they are requ required in, in flux mixed uh, uh, and stress mix formulation for Darcy flows, for instance, or for elastic, uh, elasticity problems. As I said, they are characterized by the continuity of the normal traces in, in the interface of the elements. They are also very uh, uh, well known for typical uh, types of element geometry, like uh, triangles, rectangles, uh, prisms, tetrahedra, etc. But, uh, and also, uh, it's, uh, are known uh, the hierarchic high order shape function for these spaces, um, and uh, which are of two kinds. They are, can be of the trace type, and also they can be bubbles. This is very important. Bubbles are the, 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 the HD functions, which uh, the, the normal components vanish on the boundary of the elements. 
and trace is uh, elsewhere. And I, I, I also important that uh, we can construct these shape functions multiplying a very well known scalar sh uh, shape function for H1 on formula methods multiplied by some uh, uh, well chosen uh, vector fields. So uh, this is also very practical for the implementations. Today I'm going to talk about uh, HD functions spaces with trace constraint. Which is trace constraint? This means that the 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 the, the shape functions of the trace, the trace shape functions, are constrained to, uh, by some properties that change according to the application. For this, is this kind of uh, constrained uh, shape functions or, or HD shape, uh, spaces can be used for enhancing the accuracy of the approximations. When we add some bubble functions, I will explain about that. It's typical, they are mandatory for HP adaptivity. When HP adaptivity it means that you can have different kinds of polynomials from one element to another element. So on the interface to keep the continuity, so you have to impose some trace con uh, uh, constraint on, on the interface. So it's very uh, important for HP adaptivity. And they are also important for this if you want to combine different kinds of elements in the same simulation. For instance, sometimes uh, people like very much the, the, the hexahedral elements. You know, they are easy to, to, to use, they give good accuracy, but sometimes they are not uh, practical for when you have um, complex geometry or uh, and, uh, and so on. So, in, so it, uh, on the other side, the tetrahedral elements, they are very useful for uh, to, to treat these uh, irregularity uh, regions, but to, to make the transition between tetrahedral and hexahedral, you need some prisms or, or pyramids to make the, 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 the connection between triangular and square faces. So this is, so in, the, in this kind of application, you need trace constraint HD approximation. And also I, I will talk about multi-scale approximations. And, and this is, I will explain more detail in the continuation. So what I mean by general trace constraint HD approximations, HD conforming finite element spaces. Uh, general means that I can use a general partition. They may be polygonals, general polygonal, or polyhedral, or polytops, what they used to say. It's, you can use this, which is very useful for very practical applications. And they use different kind of, of, of uh, finite element settings for the mis mixed formulations. They may, they, you, you have find the, the elements inside the, the polytops, the subregions, and use quartz trace constraints on the interfaces. To implement this, it's important to have a code which can be, uh, uh, could, that can, be, uh, can identify trace and bubble functions of different degrees. So the implementations that I'm going to show uh, were implemented in this uh, code, UPC, developed by Philippe de Vlou in during many years at UNICAMP. Uh, this, this code has, has these properties required for this uh, trace constrained uh, finite element spaces. And we are, I'm going to show uh, applications for a method called MHM, which means multi scale hybrid mixed fine element method, which is the hybrid mixed method for Darcy's flows in the first part of the talk and for elasticity in the second part. Which is the motivation for using these multi-scale uh, methods? As I said, some uh, uh, complex solid mechanics problems, you have, for example, domain, complex domains, fractures, or, uh, heterogeneities or in intricate types of loads and so on. So for these this, uh, problems, uh, uh, you need some kind of multi-scale approach. Um, 
the, the, uh, and the focus also is to, to design stable, high order, conservative, divisions free, or locking free methods for this kind of problems, for Darcy's and for elasticity, that can be simulated with some reduced computational cost for these complex uh, scenarios. And okay, of course, the, 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 what do you do? You have to do divide and conquer. So they do, they do the decomposition of the domain, introduce the hybridization, and, and you have to apply very smart hierarchy of meshes and stable finite element settings for the method to work well. So these are two examples of the that we are going to, to discuss. For instance, if we have a Darcy flow in a Theresian middle like that, you, you, in, and using uh, this uh, multi-scale method, we can get good accuracy if you compare with the reference uh, method in the fine, uh, finest uh, level. And this is all the sample in elasticity, suppose this uh, the heterogeneous material, uh, and then if you use a, you can get with the, the, this multi chaos method the, uh, the same kind of structures that if you use it, uh, a, a very fine uh, resolution. The general properties of the MHN method are the following. First, very important, they are um, there is a local global hybrid formulation that we can use to characterize the exact solution by the sum of components well uh, uh, using given by well posed local global systems. So you, you can formulate your mixed method in the, the the continuous level in terms of uh, 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 the, the solution can be characterized as, as the combination of the different components uh, uh, which comes from local problems and a global problem. The, the MHM is a discrete version of this uh, uh, characterization. There is a global system, stable, using reduced degrees of freedoms and composed uh, uh, and components associated to this global system are formulated in terms of coarse information of the solution for the potential in the case of pressure or displacement and for the trace over subdomains interface which is normal flux or traction depending on the application then there are local polyp well posed local independent Neumann boundary problems in the subdomains, which are, uh, resolve uh, the, the small details of the solution by a, a, a stable finite element method based on refined in, internal discretizations. These local uh, 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 solvers can use H1 conforming or, uh, or mixed methods or any other method. In fact, this MHM started by uh, the, the, uh, uh, this group of uh, people here uh, using this H1 conforming. And our, our contribution was in the method where we, we are using these mixed methods locally. So um, I'm going to talk uh, in this paper uh, here for, for Darcy and more recently for elasticity. Okay, let's start with Darcy. So, uh, Darcy problem is a, a problem for single phase flow in porous media. So the, the variables are the flux sigma, the pressure P, with, uh, I'm going to, to consider the initial boundary condition. There is a tensor, the permeability tensor, and the source term. And the mixed formulation uh, uh, <clears throat> is a formulation for both variables for for flux and for pressure and the the the, the flux is uh, lives in hd conform in each div spaces and the pressure is l2 so this is the classical mixed formulation where in fact the, the pressure enters as a, a lagrange multiplier to impose the divergence constraint the divergence constraint is this one minus the divergence of sigma is equal to F. So pressure, this is a constraint. So pressure enters 
as a Lagrange multiplier to impose this constraint. Okay, so this is a formulation very well known since the 70s, and this is stable, is very well posed. The discrete versions of, uh, for, for this formulation, of course, conforming uh, uh, mixed is, uh, is a discrete version where the, 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 the finite element subspace D and W on HD and L2 to be stable is, is, uh, is uh, the stability requires that a property called divergence compatibility, meaning that the divergence of the, the, uh, the space V is equal to the, the pressure. So this is very important for a discrete version of this, this formulation. So, of, of course, you, you uh, may ask why, I, I, why not we use the, the, the H1 formulation or just in terms of, of displacement. Now I, I, we are solving two variables. So, of course, you, you, this method is, is much more they have much more uh, nice properties like local conservation and so on. But there's no free lunch. You have to, to solve a, for two variables on so more degrees of freedom, and you should uh, take care of this compatibility, divergence compatibility condition. Okay, so I'm going to talk about, as I said, two uh, discrete formulations of the Darcy uh, problem using this. HDV constraining HDV space. So, how are we are going to construct this general HDV constrained uh, uh, subspace? So, we need, a, uh, uh, as I said, two scales. So, I, I have two parameters uh, gamma in and gamma SK. SK comes from skeleton in from the interior. So, gamma SK is uh, a pair of parameters for H and K using the course level, and gamma in is H in, K in, use it for the parameters in the fine, the refinement level. We are, for simplicity, we take H in is H S K, you see the course level uh, divided by a power of two. So, and K in is the, 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 the polynomial degree at course level plus an N, would be N greater or equal to zero. And also, uh, using these parameters, we will construct a mesh hierarchy. So it's very important for the well definition of the method and also for implementation. We start for, from a, a coarse partition, tau in the coarse level, is a we assume conformal and shape regular. And then inside, in each, in each subregion, we uh, uh, consider a conglomeration of submeshes, tau. H uh, omega i H S K. So this is in the quash level. For instance, this one, this example. Here is the original uh, region with a, a very general uh, polytopal mesh. And then we construct a quash mesh, a, a, a conformal uh, like this. And inside each of these sub uh, regions, this is the, the quash level, we construct a refined. Uh, 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 submeshes inside each one of the, the elements here of the, the, this partition. Of course, the, the, uh, when we refine, you, you may lose the, the conformity. For instance, here in this side, uh, here uh, uh, the, the, the meshes here and the meshes here are not conformal. And even the degree uh, here, for instance, you can use degree four here. here on the interface, we have a polynomial degree of uh, three or two, so uh, uh, this uh, they they, uh, uh, they they do not match. But there is a compatibility. The compatibility means that the degree on the, the, the interface, for instance, of the polynomials, is less or equal to the degree inside, uh, as I said here. No, k in is uh, the, the degree inside plus some n, and also. The, the, the meshes, no, uh, the, the, the meshes induced here are a refinement of the, the, the meshes induced by this one on the, on the interface. This is what I call, so, so now the, the, the finite element space settings, on each of these uh, uh, region omega i, we consider a, 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 
com a single scale composite divergence compatible finite length space in each one of the subdivisions. Uh, as usual, uh, they define in each, uh, for each element, they are constructed by a local HD space. This VH and UK are uh, defined by a mapping, using a Piola mapping from a, a, a reference element, this is standard. And these are, uh, the, the elements here inside, they have the usual geometry. For instance, here are examples of elements, uh, very well-known families of conforming, consistent, uh, uh, divergence consistent pairs for, for te te triangle tetrahedra, uh, triangle BDM, BDFM, is a very well known families on the literature. And for rectangular, is the uh, Ravier Thomas. And for hexahedra, Ravier Thomas, this is the Nedelec family. So this is very well known. And, but uh, then on the, the interface, you have this trace space. And then they are also piecewise polynomials over a partition, the partition of the of the, the skeleton of degree uh, uh, scale, quartz degree on the, the internal edge. On the boundaries, we keep the, the finest, uh, the more uh, higher degree because to, to resolve the, the boundary conditions. But uh, uh, with the, all the hypotheses we, we, I mentioned, we have this consistency, uh, trace consistent, meaning that the, the, the trace spaces induced on the, on the skeleton by the internal spaces should contain the, 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 the space adopted, the quartz space adopted on the, the, the skeleton. Okay, with these uh, properties, then we define the local space constraint uh, uh, to this, uh, this trace spaces. So this, this is well defined. So you consider uh, uh, V gamma, because not now it depends on two parameters, gamma in and gamma, no, from here. So V gamma is the, 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 uh, the, the functions in V gamma in, uh, uh, constrained by lambda gamma on the interface. This is well defined because of this trace consistency here. And then uh, the, the global uh, spaces are obtained by the, the assembling of these local spaces, the constrained spaces here. So we will obtain a, a global spaces. And they, since the, uh, the local spaces here are also uh, as a direct sum of trace quartz components and refined components in the global space, also we have a quartz component and refined component. And for the pressure, we, we also have a, here L2 orthogonal components of piecewise constants and, and the, the, the orthogonal complement, uh, which are the, the, the is wise uh, zero mean. Okay, I, I, an example of uh, how to assemble this H constrained HD conforming spaces. Since we are uh, using the shape functions obtained by the multiplication of a, 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 a scalar H1 shape function uh, uh, by a vector field, this is the vector field. This is an example of a, a scalar H1 uh, uh, shape function of edge because here you, you see this uh, uh, function uh, vanishes in all the sides, it's except here, where it's, it's a quadratic. You know, this is a, a, a HD uh, fu shape function of edge type multiplied by this constant uh, uh, vector field, normal to this side, you obtain this uh, HD shape function with normal component vanishes here because this function vanishes here. And, and, and here is, the restriction is, uh, is equal to this because the, 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 this vector field is, is in the direction of the norm. So uh, this is an important property. And also the, the, this means that the, 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 the normal component of this shape function restricted to this edge here is equal to the, the uh, scalar shape fu uh, uh, function and it vanish in all of the sides. This property helps a lot to to assembly the, the, the HD shape functions because it's the same algorithm for assembly H1 shape functions because the, to have the continuity of the of the normal component is equal, uh, ends up to be the continuity of an H1 shape function. Okay, so to analyze a, 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 a method convergence, we need projections. So for this kind of constrained HD shape functions, we define a projection 
with called projection baited interpolants. This was a kind of, of, of projection introduced by Denkovic and, and collaborators, which uses the, 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 the structure of trace and internal components of the, the shape functions to derive the, the projection in terms of trace and internal components too. This, I will not enter in detail, but this is the, the, the way that they are defined. And this, uh, using this definition is very nice because this definition does not require any as geometry aspect of the, the elements. So it only needs the, these properties here of the internal and, and trace shape functions. So, and, and this, proper, this interpolation uh, verify a very important property which is called the, the, the HAM commuting property means that the, the divergence of the projection is equal, is equal to the project L2 projection of, of the divergence of the, the field. So the, 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 the projection commutes the divergence. And also this is uh, it's, it's stable in the sense that the L2 norm of the projection is bounded by the H1 norm of the, the field tau. This is this constant is independent of gamma, so it's independent of the parameter. This is very important. And interpolation errors can also be derived. And uh, here for this kind of constrained spaces, we prove that the L2 errors of the projection is that depends, the accuracy depends of, of course, the accuracy of the, the, the trace functions. So it depends on H, uh, this is H, kind, sorry, SK and key. Uh, so this is the, the accuracy of the trace functions on the, the, the skeleton. For the difference, it, it's, it's very nice because the, the accuracy is the, uh, of the internal uh, uh, approximation. So it can be very high. So depending on, on how fine you def uh, uh, define your local spaces. For the, okay, this is L2 projection. So this is very usual. So this tain here depends on, on the family you are using. For instance, tain is chi in minus one. Okay, if you use BDM, you have one uh, degree less on the, the, poly, the pressure spaces. And it's tain is chi in, K in for the other spaces, BDFM or Ravia Tomas or the like. And also the, 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 the leading constants here in these estimates depend only on the shape regularity factor. So the, do not depend on on the, the, the parameter discretization. But there is a, a, an observation. This uh, uh, Here I'm assuming, the, assuming that the, the, the local uh, partitions are, are, are affine. If you use uh, non-affine measures, general non-affine, you, you may have some deterioration here, as I will show in the examples. Using this uh, uh, projection errors, so this is very traditional in mixed fine elements. So you, you, you can uh, express the, the error estimations for the mixed method in terms of the projection errors. So this is the kind of error estimation we obtain. It's very important to observe that for the flux, the, the accuracy is uh, of the quartz components. For the divisions, its accuracy is of the internal uh, components. And for pressure, is is one degree more than the flux, but you need the omega to be convex because you need to use what property is what's called elliptic regularity. So if the omega is convex, you have this elliptic regularity, so you can improve the error of the pressure in one order. Okay, so now let's show some examples. This is for a, a, a very smooth solution based on hexahedral, tetrahedral, or prismatic elements, so very uniform, very, very regular. And um, I use K, SK, SK equal to the internal is uh, I, or is equal to the, or, or three or, or the more. And use uniform partition, just to, to show that the flux error is order three, K, uh, two plus one, no the or no situations. For the, the, the pressure, this is P, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> it's all, it's all order three, which means two plus one. But if you enrich by bubbles, uh, put in bubbles of degree three, so the, the, the accuracy is um, three plus one, no? 
just one or more. But for the divisions, you get the, 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 the accuracy of order six, because it's two plus, no, three plus three, six. Yeah. Two plus one plus three, so it's six. So you, you can get very super convergent divisions. This is for a, a, a non-affine uh, hexahedral mesh. So, so to show if you to get this, this distortion mesh, meshes, then the accuracy, you lose accuracy in the, in the flux. So it's, I'm using again, a K, now a K is, is, is one, so you, I, I, you lose, because it's not one plus one, two, it's one. So you lose accuracy on the, on the flux, and the divergence does not converge at all. Okay, and for pressure, it's order K plus one. This one plus one, two. But when you increase, we reach with bubbles, then you recover the, 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 the increase the, the order of accuracy of the divergence. And okay, of the, the, the flux, no, the same order, but with a very error of magnitude much less. And you improve, uh, no, you just for the pressure is the same, you keep the same, but with order magnitude uh, less. Okay, and now this is an example of HP adaptivity. So here's the first time where I am going to use this uh, H and P, uh, uh, constraint on H and P. So this is for a, a horizontal reservoir. So this is, a, 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 suppose here you have two, two, two wells here and here, and then you, you form a coarse mesh of uh, with prisms and hexahedra, and then you do refi H refinement towards the, the well, and P refinement uh, starting with a, a minimal K all over the mesh, and then in, in, and fixing a, a K max for, for limitation, and then it starts uh, to refine the meshes here on because the single this problem the singularity is here on the toe and the heel of the, 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 the well. So, uh, so we we, ref we increase the, the the polynomial here. So we start to increase from the, the from the uh, for k, k max k means uh, ah fix k max on, on here on the wells and then I, I decrease the, the degree until until uh, reaching k in the, the, the k, k mean. And so this and use the, the trace constraint. Now it's, it's usually in, in HP adaptivity. In an interface of two elements, you take the minimum of the degree of, from the left and from the right. And and, I, I'm, and here we use uh, inside of the elements uh, increase one more. Uh, you can do a bubble refinement. So this is just to, to show that if you don't use this pair refinement, you, you have this kind of <coughs> flux on the, the on one side, but if you do peer ref refinement, you improve the, 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 the flux here. So it's important to, to do the peer refinement. This is just to, to show the, 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 the condensation, doing static condensation. Here is the number total of the degrees of freedom. This is after static, doing the static condensation. So you have 75 uh, uh, percent of the, the degrees of freedom are condensed. This means that the global system to solve has only 25 percent of the degrees of freedom. In terms of CPU time, using the, this Mac, MacBook, very simple uh, uh, framework, and the, the CPU reduces uh, from uh, just uh, 8 percent of the CPU time is required for this uh, HP adaptive uh, framework. Here, uh, this is, uh, I mentioned the combination of uh, different kind of elements. So this is a, a singular problem. Is a, uh, this is known as exact solution in a, in a reservoir with a well here, the ethical well. So the, uh, the solution behaves like a logarithm uh, in the, in the, in the, the, the close to the well. So we, uh, we construct a, a, a mesh like this. In the, uh, far from the well, we put hexahedral, very close to the well, we put a refined, very refined tetrahedral mesh, and, and in between we put these pyramids. The pyramid, to, to make the, 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 
the, to make the, the, the transition from, from quadrilateral and, and triangular, we subdivide the pyramids in four uh, tetrahedra and use uh, BDM of the grid 2K inside because uh, in order to have this consistency, to have, uh, this, to have this space contained in here. Okay, this is an example of showing the, 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 for the, this kind of uh, comparing this, this uh, uh, dotted lines. Uh, sorry. Uh, the continuous lines for k equal one and k equal two, and then uh, for the, the hybrid meshes and the pure tetrahedral and also pure H, H hexahedral mesh, showing that the decay are, are the same, similar in all the, the scenarios, but with hexahedral, <coughs> we get less degrees, uh, the same accuracy with less degrees of freedom with, than with tetrahedral, this is well known, and using the, the, this mixing method, hybrid meshes with the uh, uh, accuracy in between. Okay, now, uh, what time is it? Uh, how long? Uh, 20 minutes. Okay, but now this is a, a, the, 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 the MHM is more general now. As I said, uh, we are going to, to characterize this, the solution of the mixed method uh, in terms of components. So uh, the pressure is, uh, is a piecewise constant plus zero mean uh, components. And, and the HD spaces are, uh, so uh, there is a, a bubble functions, no? the bubble functions. And then it, we, we uh, Prove uh, an equivalence of the, 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 the and also we have an, uh, this lambda now, the, 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 the trace spaces. And then we, we prove a theorem showing that uh, we are going to, 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 to define global system and local system to, to be solved. And, and then the solution is, can be characterized as the sum of, of, uh, uh, of a com, a P0, which is obtained by. by this is P0 from the global system and uh, uh, another uh, find another component of this wise const, uh, zero mean, which are obtained from the local solvers. And, and similarly for the, 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 the flux, some of two components, one of uh, 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 zero uh, bubble and, and another one with uh, in the, in the tra trace functions, so the, you have this 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 characterization, and the, and this is the definition of the local system. The, the local system here, for is a given a lambda or a, a trace function, we solve a local problem uh, without source term, uh, and uh, with the, the Neumann component, the Neumann boundary condition equal to lambda, and here uh, for f. We saw the, the, the also the the, uh, the 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 mixed formulation with uh, this is with uh, divisions free. This is not division free with divisions equal to f, but with uh, uh, zero component on the boundary. So this is a, a, a internal component. And the global system has this form. So the uh, the global system solves for lambda and for the the, the piecewise constant. You know? And uh, what the, the, the MHM is just a discrete version of, of this characterization. So we have given a, a discrete setting of spaces. Uh, you, you solve a global system for, for this wise constant and for the, this lambda gamma discrete setting. And, and uh, you recover the solution by solving local solvers using this. Uh, 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 Constrained HG spaces and and uh, and this wise uh, uh, zero mean pressures, and then okay, I uh, will prove that this this method or this di this discrete method is equivalent to a stable mixed fine element method using this uh, setting two scale setting I mentioned before. So this uh, in fact. 
this this algorithm a mhm algorithm is just the static condensation for this uh, more general mixed method using these spaces of trace constrained uh, hd spaces the advantages is uh, uh, the uh, the result of this uh, mhm the, the, the solution is co is conformed because of the strong enforcement of the neumann boundary conditions on the local regions local mass conservation is verified at, at micro, macro, micro scale level and um, uh, and also you obtain strong divergence free for if f equals zero and I, an implementation I, 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 already, I, I already mentioned about that some people uh, use uh, pre-computed multi-scale shape functions but if you have a, a code where you have all the, these shape function tools for for to do a HP adaptivity or uh, uh, trace constrained spaces you can implement without uh, pre-computing the the, the hierarchical shape function. These are some examples. Uh, this is a, a smooth problem. Here I'm just uh, showing how uh, just decreasing the the, the 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 refinement inside keeping the same polynomial degree and so uh, to show that as i i we refine the the, the error converges to 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 and also uh, here i'm comparing h1 with hd uh, approximation local servers no so uh let, let, let's see for instance the error in sigma in, in flux so if uh, if I, we are using uh, degree one, so the the, the 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 error expected error is order two, but with H one is uh, we we know that the the, the accuracy uh, decreases order one, but as we refine the H one approximations converts to the, the HG approximations, and also here uh, the, the the error in pressure here okay so. Uh, uh, we use K11, so the, the, the usual accuracy is two, but as you in, increase refinement, you go to accuracy of order three, which is the, the uh, one order more that we know from the, 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 the bubble uh, to the enrichment. Here is, okay, the example when uh, now we are increasing, keeping the same. Uh, uh, refinement but increasing just the, the the degree also we obtain this convergence as we are increasing to uh key here um uh, uh, k equal one so the the usual accuracy order in two so you start with h1 order in one and you converge to two and this here the same uh, error in pressure the the for h hd the the order is is uh one plus two no is three and then uh, and then h1 converts to to the this uh here is for the, the problem of the, the singular tndp radial flow and here, here using hexahedra mesh hma hexahedra prismatic or tetrahedral and then comparing the error uh, a, a ratio of the error of the mhm with the reference uh, solution um and to show that uh, as you, you um the, the the comparison is uh, for instance pressure is almost the same at very quartz level very very few degrees of freedom uh, and and the, the, the for the flux also but here the, the is not so optimal as for pressure and finally here for dash flow uh for with, with oscillatory permeability and just to show that for instance comp if you comp compare uh, the the mhm in, in level one with the solution in the next refiner level to see that the mhm can capture the, the regular the, the, the details in the course level okay this is some reference of this i mentioned i can put them in the Give it to you more details if you want. And now I, I, I think I, I don't have much time for for the elasticity, but it, I, I'm going very fast because it's almost the same. The idea is almost the same. 
So we have a, a, a mixed formulation for elasticity. Here is a, a mixed formulation with reduced symmetry because usually uh, 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 the stress is symmetric. It's a tensor, symmetric tensor, but it's not so easy to implement symmetric HG conforming symmetric tensors. So people, but for HD usual tensors, you can easily construct just doing, taking the rows of a, a, a usual HD vector uh, uh, spaces. So people decide, okay, let's use the, the usual uh, uh, family of compatible HD uh, uh, spaces for, for the C, and to tensor uh, to, to construct tensor uh, uh, each row of, of this space, but then you don't have symmetry. But this symmetry you put in the, in the in the formulation as a, another Lagrange multiplier, so impose a, 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 a symmetric constraint. So so this is a, a, now a mixed formulation with two constraints: the divergent constraint and the symmetry constraint. And now, of course, this is you, you, you lunch is not free. You, you, you have easy uh, implementation, but you have to solve this more uh, bigger system. And uh, okay, so as I said, you have the same uh, properties of the of the, the Darcy spaces. Now, instead of this vector, now you have tensor, so we have all the same properties. The quartz level for the pressure for the, the displacement now are the, the rigid body motions. So instead of constants, now we have rigid body motions, and and the complement is the orthogonal complement. And for the the, the for the uh, there is another variable Q, which is the the, the, the that impose the symmetry, the, the symmetry, and is in L two. So and the tra uh, uh, and also we have to. Uh, 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 traction spaces uh, lambda, and uh, again you have local local solvers uh, with the mixed formulation using local solver solvers similar to for uh, uh, for the Darcy a global problem, and then a, a, a characterization of the exact solution of the mixed formulation in terms of the these two level components is this, uh, holds the same way. But now, since you have one more constraint with the symmetry, stability is more difficult too. So instead of diverse, this diverse constraint, it's okay because we start from a, a, a Darcy a context where you already have we already have the diverse constraint. So this is easy. But then you need the, a, 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 another constraint for stability with the. the, the the rotation variable Q. And there is a theorem uh, developed by all, many people saying that if you, you, you can, to, uh, can find a Stokes stable family such that the, the, the rotation of the, the velocities, uh, H1, no, is Stokes, uh, is H1, which the, 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 the rotation of the curve of the, of the velocity is contained in the space of the uh, of the tensors, uh, then th you have stability. So th there's this theory. So you have just to, to construct this family, you have to choose these spaces in uh, uh, such a way that, that uh, uh, you can use just the, 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 the space for the, the rotation is equal to the space for pressure in the Stokes system. Okay, so we, we proved that uh, so we constructed the, the yeah, so and also we proved that suppose you have a stable framework, we can construct our projections. Now, not only commuting the divisions as before, but you have to commute the, this asymmetry uh, operator. So this is also what was developed by Buffy Bretzi for in 2009. So and, uh, with all these uh, tools, we can prove the same way as we did for the C, this error estimation for this two-scale uh, uh, framework for the elasticity. And, uh, uh, and uh, some observations. Uh, that, okay, uh, 
the contribution of the local solvers uh, can be computed offline, the HD conformity uh, uh, implies strong enforcement, is, is a result of the strong enforcement of bundle no normal conditions, and similar as, as in Darcy. And the conservation at micro scale level also is a, 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 is, is a property important in this method. And uh, for, uh, for constructed this Stokes uh, family, to obtain stability, we applied a, a result by Brad C. Carrant in 1984, where we construct some enriched versions of the, this is the, some uh, you, you, uh, known Stokes family for Cruzier Javier and Giro Javier. We enrich do an enrichment of these spaces and we prove this compatibility, Stokes compatibility. For this, we use for triangles, this we use for uh, rectangles. And you obtain the same similar error estimations as before, as we did for the is very similar uh, structure. Okay, so this is an example. This is a, a, a smooth solution, and, uh, and you obtain it is very fine all the the, the, the error estimations I I shown before, and then this is for a, a hierarchy, a heterogeneous media showing how. Uh, a, a reference solution is this black one, and he, he applying MHM in various levels, you approach the, the reference solution. Okay, this is the main references on, on that method. And just the final remarks I present to you today these MHM schemes for Darcy and LSTC problems, which are discrete, both case discrete versions of a hybrid local global collectivization of the exact solution using quartz traces over the mesh scale, plus piecewise macro potential, plus detailed internal representation of the remaining variables. We, we construct a variety of two scale finite element spaces, pairs for, for these methods, and we developed a general error analysis for all the, this, this uh, uh, contests, obtain super convergence for the divergence and the, uh, of the flux or of the stress, enhanced potential, but the flux or the stress and rotation errors are limited for, by the, the trace, traces accuracy. Our important properties of these methods is flexible for geometric representation, independent of local system, the independent local system of, uh, favoring parallel strategies, local conservation holds at micro scale levels. Uh, and the fine scale characteristics that naturally are they're constructed using these local solvers. And static condensation with drastic reduction of computation effort and strong divergence free scenarios. We are, uh, we are working on the extension of these methods for two phase flows. I have already published these results. Doing uh, for linear elasticity in 3D. Now the stability is different. You know, uh, the stock stability is not. Uh, uh, well used for 3Ds, you have to do something else. For stock, also for stocks, bringing Darcy flows combined for discrete fracture network, for also for uh, an MHM using H curve spaces for electromagnetics. Well, that's it. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Sonia, for your presentation. Um, I assume there will be a couple of questions. Um, I, I guess, Ignacio, you are taking, you're no, taking notes of the questions uh, in the online. Well, somebody wants to ask, uh, just raise the hand, uh, and you can open the mic. Otherwise, uh, I'll have one to uh, be sure uh, these uh, hybrid meshes, uh, how do you generate them? I mean, you use uh, from the beginning. The, ah, the, 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 the hybrid nation with pyramids. Yeah. Okay, so the, the, you use the, 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 exa, the tetrahedral mesh, you, you use a mesh to construct the, 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 and then the other ones come with the hexahedral mesh is a, a, a uniform, no? and then you put the, the pyramids in the beginning, in the between. Is it a manual work or do you have a program that does this for you? Well, the, the, the tetrahedral, no, it's Gemesh. So, but the other, the other thing is, is 
Because you're using this code, the, 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 the PC code, Neo PC, the, where they, they can uh, construct these meshes. And also the spaces, no? No, the spaces. Is there any so, if you have two different spaces for the skeleton and the interior of the animal, so how do you decide if you have a given solution and a given requirement? Where do you find either in the skeleton or in the. Ah, well, <laughs> this is something else. No, I, 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 all the results I put here was just academic problems and so on. No? But uh, there are research, research in this direction. Uh, something called port reduction. In fact, it's, it's something very, very old. I, I used to say that all these ideas were around in the 70s. So since the 70s, 50 years were just improving and implementing and uh, improving the, the ideas of the 70s. So in the 70s, the, people use a, 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 some, a concept called port reduction. How to choose? Uh, 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 you have uh, two problems you want to couple. No, this is the port. No, and how to choose this? Uh, there is a methodology called they, they solve some uh, spectral uh, uh, problems associated to this and choose the, the, the first uh, the, the first eigenvalue principal eigenvalues to, to to see which are the, the, the to define the the, the best. Uh, 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 port approximation on the interface. So if this is something you are very interested. There are people working on this direction. We do we not we, we did not go to this, not not yet, but we are working on that. This is very important question. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comment? I don't understand this uh, compatibility in terms of uh, uh, elasticity mm -hmm. between what you call the spokes space, mm -hmm. which I don't know exactly what it is, and the, and the space of spaces. So you have a curl of that. Yeah. Then you should be that one. Because yeah, I, 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 yeah I, I, let me come back. Is it the. Yeah. Okay. The curl, what is that? Is it the tensor flow? I don't know what, what is W because I don't see W. Okay. W is a velocity. It's a, it's a it's a velocity, space. velocity space continuous at H1. Okay. okay. H1. And, and then that's the, the, the flow by the left and the flow by the right. Or what is that? The double flow? Yes, this is the curl of this uh, in 2D. This gives uh, uh, um, the curl, the curl uh, a vector. Is a vector. No, no, no. This this is not a vector. This is in, uh, it's a tensor here in two D. In two D, is a tensor. This is, here is a tensor. Uh, it's two D. Two D. This is two D. This is only valid for two D. In three D, this doesn't work. I need to, to, to analyze stability is is is, is some is differently. In fact, we, 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 we already have a, a preprint on that. But we cannot use this this uh, this theory. This theory by by uh, now this is uh, stock constraint. Is this paper 1997? They prove that if you have the, uh, a, a stable, uh, for instance, we are going to if you use Cruzier uh, Javier for triangles, huh? it, uh, friendly. and if you take the the the, the curl of this and, and, and it, cont is, it is contained in, a, in in your tensor spaces there, so then you have stability. This is a, a very important property connecting elasticity with stokes. But it's 2D. Okay. Yeah. Estimates you rely on the regularity that is higher for the, uh, let's say, for example, in the case of the C space, it's higher for the pressure than for the flux. If I have seen it correctly. Um, uh, let's see. So, for instance, the yeah. estimates 
Ah, ya. Oh, saya air. Uh, you have regulatory requirements that might be stronger for P than for sigma. I mean, that depends on the selection you have for, for the uh, deployment of the skeleton and deployment of the interior. You mm -hmm. might need uh, higher regulatory for P than for sigma. Well, this is a hypothesis, yes. For if you don't have a sufficient regularity, so the, the, the order of convergence is the case. So you cannot. Yeah, it's a little bit strange that in that population that uh, in which you used to assume that the regularity of the flux is higher than the regularity of the time of life of the pressure P, mm -hmm. when you derive the error estimate, it turns out that you might be, depending on how you choose the orders, you might be higher regularity for P than the sigma. Wow. Well, yeah. Okay. So uh, this is the best we can can get. The best we can get uh, with this formulation. It's the best we can get. The, the, assuming that sufficient regularity. Yes. If the, the if the problem is not regular, so we, uh, the, 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 the error. Okay. So we check. Well, well, the polynomial orders are not that independent. You know? I mean, the polynomial orders that you choose probably should, uh, should let's say, uh, match the regularity you may expect of the. Yeah, I mean, yes, you, you need the, 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 the divergence compatibility. The, the, oh, the, the, yeah, so the, the order of the pressure is sometimes less or equal. <laughs> yeah. For instance, in BDM in tri triangles, you use k minus one for pressure and k for 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 sigma, so because of the compatibility of the divergence. Yeah. Is, uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Let's thank again Professor Sonia. Okay. Thank you very much. See you in the next. Okay. Bye-bye.